Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Finding Elizabeth, and this is my week 130 post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. Mm. <laughs> I try not to do that now, and then every time I rewatch a video, I find that I am, mmm, I really like my beverages. So how is everybody? Um, so we have a better weight week this week, which is not surprising since I'm on project wrap this shit up to lose this last bit of weight by the end of the year and then figure out how in the hell I'm gonna pay for plastic surgery. So my I, my starting weight in January of 2014 was 402 pounds. My, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on April 14th, 2014 at 360.6 pounds. My weight last week was 212 pounds. My weight today was 204.8 pounds. So, that is a 7.2 pound loss since last week, which does sort of tell me um, that last week's weight included a lot of water retention because I did get on back. I did get back on track, but I don't think I got back on track enough to lose seven pounds of fat, muscle, anything other than water. But um, uh, that's 100, 197 pounds total. That's a gain of 2.8 pounds in the last month. And it's a loss of 3.2 pounds in the last year. Yeah, last week really screwed with me because it said that I had gained 3 pounds in the last year. But um, unless I have another 7 pound week, next week's going to show a gain too because we're coming up on the week that I hit Wonderland for the first time. So I don't know that I have another 5 pounds in me. But uh, we'll see. So that puts me in a better, uh, better mood. So uh, real quick, a couple of announcements. Um, have you subscribed to the new Naked Truth channel? Make sure you subscribe to the new Naked Tr Truth channel. We had like 1,700 subscribers on the old channel. We have like 500 on the new channel. And as soon as I move all the videos over, I'm going to ask Jennifer to get rid of that other channel so it's not um, so it's not confusing because it confuses me when I search for the Naked Truth or try to show it to somebody. So please subscribe to the Naked Truth. It's in the box down below. Also, I'm, um, what day? Friday, I guess, is my two and a half year surge anniversary. And I'm gonna do a Q&A video, and I'm gonna randomly draw one of the people who leave a question and give them a $20 Amazon gift card. So if you want to leave a question, you can leave it below, or I'll also post on Facebook. What else do we have? Uh, oh, so, <laughs> several of you have very strong attention to detail and notice my bulletin board behind me. So in the past, I've always, like over the year, I've kept a bulletin board like over my computer where I work with all the things from the year, you know, just things that, pictures and notes and cards and stuff like that. Well, hello, my life is so much bigger now that one bulletin board isn't enough. So I actually have three. So I had always had the same one back here and I thought, you know what, I need to switch it out with the other ones so that other people, because a lot of the stuff on these bulletin boards are from people in the weight loss surgery community, cards or notes or whatever. So I wanted to move the bulletin board around. So we'll look at this one for a couple weeks and then I'll switch to the third one. And I haven't even ordered pictures from like June, July, August, September, and OH. So probably gonna, it's probably gonna be a four bulletin board year, I think, because my third one's about half full. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, shout out. I gave her a shout out last week, but I want to give her a shout out again. Lindsay Fly got married. I don't know, is she taking? Are you taking Ken's name? I don't know. Fly is like such a good last name. So just saying. I don't know, but you looked absolutely fucking gorgeous. Um, and I hope you had a wonderful day. And it was also uh, Melly May's birthday. So happy birthday, Melly May. And then Randy VSG Granny is having her plastics tomorrow. So I want to give her a huge shout out. And what else? Do oh, and of course, I want to give Amy a shout out because Amy's, Amy's my person who... <laughs> who listens to all the crazy things in my head as a uh, very smart person and doesn't tell me I'm crazy, even though sometimes I think she probably should. And I just love her a lot. And I just want to give her a shout out too. All right. Hi, Amy. You're not watching, are you? I don't think you're watching because it's not like you asked me when I was going to post my video today, right? All right. Okay. So what else do we want to talk about? So what have I done differently this week to lose 7.2 pounds? Well, I've done all that shit that I should have been doing the whole time, which is tracking my food, weighing and measuring my food. Mm. 
drinking my water. Uh, I've exercised four times this week. I think I've decided, because Brandon's gym thing still hasn't come through, and from where I moved, it's really far, and it's really early, and I don't get it together. I think he's not going to move until January. I think until then, I'm going to try doing what Tanya's doing, which is she said she's taking three step classes and three um, body sculpt classes. Well, there are those classes, exactly three step and three body sculpt classes at my gym at eight o'clock every morning, which most mornings I should be able to do. So I think I'm gonna try that instead because my gym is like two feet down the road and it's much easier for me to go to. And then when Brandon moves over to the new gym, I'll go back to him. But um, I've been doing C to 5K and it feels good, it feels awesome. I got these new tennis shoes and they're black. I've never had black tennis shoes before. I've only ever had white tennis shoes. There's something about black tennis shoes that makes me feel like more officially like a workout person. I don't know why that is, but it is. Um, so I have been, um, I wouldn't say that I've told, oh, and I've been drinking all my water and yeah, um, I have been sort of following I haven't really been following a ketogenic lifestyle. I have been doing more of what I did immediately post-op, which was, you know, sort of like a low carb lifestyle. I went to one of the keto calculators and I think, what does it say in my fitness pal that I'm supposed to have? I think I'm aiming for one moment. Let's see what it is so I can actually tell you. I think, uh, and the keto calculator gave you some flexibility, and I haven't watched any of these videos on keto from other people, so I'm sure there are people who are much more informed on this than I am. Um, but I went to one of the keto calculators to see what the macros would be on that, and what I came up with was, let's see, um, uh, 45 grams or less of carbs, 73 grams of fat, 90 grams of protein. So the carbs and the protein, I've pretty much been hitting without a problem. And that's what I did pre-op. The fats, yeah, the only, <laughs> and I'm not gonna like over try to get the fat number. Um, I mean, we'll see how I do just on going back to what I've been doing. I've never been afraid of fat. I've always bought full fat products. But do you know you cannot find full of fat yogurt? Or I can't, I looked for it. Oh. Um, and I'm at like 1,200 calories, but the only day that I got the fat grams in was yesterday because if you guys watched the Naked Trees last night, that was awful. We were awful. All we did was talk about fast food. A bunch of veterans who between us had lost about 700 pounds were talking about Jack in the Box. And then I got done with the show. I went on a date, and after I left the date, I stopped at Jack in the Box and got a taco and magic churros. Thanks, Gracie, for that. Yeah, thanks for introducing me to those. So I put those in my fitness pal, and I surprise, surprise, I hit my fat goal yesterday, but certainly exceeded the carb goal. Anyway, um, so really I'm just trying to get my protein grams in, keep my carbs below 45, and just see where the fat kind of lands. And we'll see how I do with that. Um, and if I stall, I might look more into doing a more serious ketogenic um, lifestyle choice. So how has that been for me this week, doing these things that I have not really done in consistently in a very long time? It's been awesome. I mean, I actually feel so much more in control because number one, I know what's going on. I know what I'm consuming. I know what the calories are. And, you know, even on the days that I think that I am sort of sucking, um, I'm really not. Uh, my stuff is fine. And obviously, I lost a lot of weight last week. And I'm sure a lot of that was water, but still. But just being in control, I mean, I haven't weighed and measured my food in a really long time, probably, probably in a year. So, because I probably stopped doing that before I went on my travel spurt last year. So, um, so I really feel more control and committed and good and yeah, that's what I should have been doing all along, so. Wrapping this shit up, hashtag WTSU. Oh, what I started and didn't complete with these one small step videos, I had said I was gonna do those, but you know, they were really helpful for me this summer. But what I realized when I tried to do them this week was, you know, last summer, or over the summer, I had pretty much let everything fall to shit. So I had lots of things that were weighing me down 
that's not really the case anymore. So it's not such an issue right now. So I was really having a problem coming up with things. I'm like, yeah, no, no one small stuff videos, but sorry. You won't see me every day. Only three or four times a week and twice on Sundays. Shouldn't that be enough? Uh, so what else is going on this week? Okay, I wanted to, uh, oh, I wanted to talk about, I want to talk about being part of this weight loss surgery community. Before I say anything about that, I realize I left two people out of my OH update that I want to recognize. One is Sandra Sandries. I don't know how I could have forgotten to mention you, probably because you live here. But... <laughs> And I see you relatively regularly, but still, there was no excuse for that. So Sandra was there. It was great to spend time with her, as always. And Joella, Joella of the Winchell's Donut Contact fame. How could I have forgotten you? She was another great person to meet. So I just wanted to call out those people. But in watching people's recap videos about um, OH, I have to tell you that it made... I don't know, it just made my heart feel good. Jody's video actually made me cry, but uh, also Drea's video that I watched today, I cannot tell you how good it made me feel to hear both of these ladies say that they felt so welcomed and accepted into the weight loss surgery community for their first time at a conference, and I hope everyone felt that way. Um, but I know around the time that I came into the community, I never felt this, but I heard people talk about, you know, oh, there's clicks and, you know, you feel somebody feels left out or, do, but I mean, that was never my experience. So I didn't see that ever, but there were times during the weekend of OH where I was like, okay, are we including these people enough? Are they feeling connected to us enough? Because I mean, the fact is true that you have friendships that have, you know, that you've made over time, but it just, I mean, Jody's video actually made me cry when she talked about going to Disneyland and having some fear initially of being, um, kind of like a third wheel and that she she and her husband did not feel that at all which makes me very happy because like really Jody what the hell uh, we would have not found a bathroom without you guys so you couldn't have been the third wheel just saying <laughs> anyway uh, so that just made me really happy and it, that and um, something else that happened this weekend made me reflect on what a privilege uh, and how grateful I am to be part of this community so I had a friend over for dinner on Saturday night who is somebody that I've known for probably almost 30 years. And he has a tendency to isolate the way I did for many years. And he's done it for years and years and years and years. And he came for dinner on Saturday night and we were talking about it and I was trying to tell him, and I don't know if anybody could have told me this, and he's not overweight, he just likes to be by himself. But, um, And I don't know that anybody could have told me this at the time, but what I tried to tell him was, you know, one of the things that has been so amazing and has changed in my life is because of these relationships and friendships that I've developed with other people, predominantly through the weight loss surgery community. So for years before, I was pretty isolated with, you know, really what my head was saying to me in conversation, you know, interactions with my son, inter action with work colleagues but not interactions on a very personal level with a lot of other people and it has been such a huge benefit to me to have relationships with so many of you and particularly close relationships with a handful of people who reflect back to me things about myself that I probably wouldn't have come up with on my own and you know you guys have made me feel lovable and beautiful and loved and I mean everything all these I mean who I still remember the first time this may not have been the first time Patty talked about YouTube but it was the first time it clicked with me in one of our classes and she was talking about going to the screening of um I can't all of me I think was the name of the movie and Chris Waffle was there and she was talking about waffles and Sarah Spoons and blah 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 and I'm like what the hell is she talking about uh, but to go from that moment to where I am now, where all of you, those, you know, handful of people who are my super close friends, but then this extended community of people who have showered me with such love and support and kindness and laughter. And I mean, I laughed so hard at OH. I, I mean, I just got the giggles from the moment I saw um, 
Patty and I next to each other in blonde wigs. And I think I laughed for like two days straight. But um, I just feel really fortunate and blessed. And I was trying to explain this to my friend about how I've gotten so much from being in relationship with other people that I would have never have gotten isolated. I mean, I know sometimes those of us who isolate think that's a safer place to be. Um, but I was trying to explain to him that it wasn't. And he was like, well, yeah, but they're only telling you the good stuff. They're not telling you the bad stuff. I'm like, fuck that shit. I have had some of the most difficult conversations hearing things about myself that I don't want to hear, but I need to hear with people in this community because I've let them know me. And uh, I'm like, no, 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 no. It's just not, it's not all sunshines and roses. Sometimes there's poop too. And, but these relationships withstand the poop sounded better in my head but anyway I just feel really grateful and lucky and blessed to have all of you and somebody asked me at OH and I don't or no I don't even think it was OH I think it was Phaedra asked me when I was in New York if I read all the comments because I don't reply to them all and that made me feel like total shit because I remember being um newly out from surgery and commenting on videos and not getting a reply and it I held on to that as it made me something. But so I want everybody to know this. Number one, I read every single comment within the day it comes in. And I am trying, trying, trying to respond to all the comments. But I missed over the summer a lot of, of videos. I was showing my friend Mark, who was here the other night, one of the videos um, from that period of time. And there were all these really wonderful comments, and I had not replied to a single one. But I'm trying, and I read them all, and I so appreciate it. And I think about them all and lots of times I'll craft a response in my head and then it won't be typed out but I just want you guys to know how much you absolutely totally and completely mean to me so anyway that's let me put my glasses on so I can see if there's anything else I have today because of course we're probably at like 20 minutes uh, oh I was just gonna yeah this is what I was gonna say I was gonna say that uh, you know the, on my phone I have screenshots of six I think like six or seven texts that people have sent me over time. So two of them are for my son. One of them is from Brian. And the other three, one is from Patty, one is from Amy, and one is from Lauren Dayton. And whenever I'm having a rough day, those are the texts that I go look at. Those seven texts from people, um, and there's been a million more, but these were ones that said something or resonated with me in a way that I chose to screenshot and keep. So you guys are with me every day in every way and I am so grateful I mean how amazing is this life where not only do I get to lose 200 pounds and it's going to be 225 by the end of the year but I get to meet and know and be part of the lives of so many amazing people so I just want to say thank you all right I love you guys bye-bye